According to a recent research paper, YouTube's algorithm has a strong preference for one style of content. And guess what it is? It's not education or political content. It's all about entertainment. Stick with me because if you're a new creator looking for growth, this insight could be the key to unlocking millions of views and subscribers. YouTube doesn't want content that makes people to think too hard. Instead, the algorithm is designed to push content that makes people feel good, happy, or even excited. And this isn't just some random observation observations, the finding of this study reveal that entertainment content, think funny videos, pranks, extreme sports, gets a major boost in recommendations. Meanwhile, content that deals with complex issues or anything that sparks negative emotions like anger or sadness, the algorithm shifts away from that quickly, almost like it's trying to hide it from the audience. This isn't just about political videos or news, it's a broader issue. YouTube is focusing more on content that gives users a dopamine hit. You know, quick laughs, thrills, how Happy moments, things that make your palms sweat because people are climbing trees or tall buildings. So what does that mean for you as a creator? If your videos are educational or more on the serious side, you might be working against the grain of what the platform is pushing right now. The algorithm isn't about to promote content that feels like it's making people uncomfortable or forcing them to think too deeply. Let's break it down with a simple example. Imagine you post a video about an important news story like the impact of tariffs on real estate or an election. Right when people click on your video, the algorithm sees that it's relevant, it fits the topic. But then as soon as YouTube's algorithm starts recommending content, it quickly moves your video down the list in favor of something lighthearted or more fun. This is called content drift. The audience clicks on the more exciting, happy content and your video starts to lose traction, even though it might have been getting decent attention at first. All right, the lesson here, if you wanna get those recommendations, you have to keep things engaging, positive, and entertaining. Now here's where things get really interesting. The algorithm doesn't just look at watch time, it also cares about how much emotion your video sparks. According to the research, when people engage with neutral or negative content, the algorithm shifts away from it. For example, videos with anger or frustration tend to get buried, while videos that make people smile or laugh are pushed to the forefront. So next time you're crafting your YouTube shorts, ask yourself, does this video spark joy or frustration or anger or happiness or neutral or thrills? Because YouTube will tend to gravitate towards things that give people that dopamine hit, that positive experience. Think of it like this. You're not competing just for views. You're competing for emotional responses. The algorithm is built to prioritize content that gives people quick bursts of happiness. And if your video is slow to get there or isn't offering that kind of content, it's gonna struggle to keep viewers' attention. But check this out. The study also showed that content creators who understand this emotional tug of war can play the game smartly by incorporating moments that make people feel something. Again, whether that's joy, excitement, or curiosity, you can start winning the algorithm's favor. Okay, here's a simple action that you can take. Start testing your videos with quicker hooks that grab attention right from the start with a more positive emotional outcome. You need to make that instant connection. No long intros, no slow buildups. Keep it short, sweet, and impactful. The quicker you make people smile or think positive thoughts, the more likely your video will catch the algorithm's eye. But hold up, before you get too excited, there's one more catch to all of this. If you're going for those emotional, quick hitting videos, you also need to keep your average watch time high. YouTube's algorithm favors videos that people stick with. If your viewers watch a good portion of your video that signals to YouTube that it's worth recommending to more audience members. So here's what you need to do. Hook your viewers right away, keep them engaged with positive content, and make sure they don't scroll away. All right, you guys, so what's the big takeaway here? The key to growth on YouTube Shorts isn't just making a good video, it's about making a good video that taps into positive emotion. If your content doesn't create a response, it's going to struggle. In the second half of 2025, it's time to craft videos that entertain, engage, and make people want to watch more. You don't need a complex story to succeed, you need something that hits fast and makes people feel something. And as for the future, with YouTube moving away from serious political and educational content for now and focusing more on positive and entertaining videos, creators who can figure this out are going to be in a prime position to blow up. Now, if you're wondering how to put this into practice, I've got a video on that exact strategy right here. Don't miss it.